Good morning. This is Robert Carsey-Epstein bringing you this morning's market update. Wall Street stocks fell yesterday with each of the major indices notching their worst day in about a month as economic data and weaker than expected vehicle sales spurred concerns about growth. Ford and General Motors shares dropped more than 4% each after July reports showed sales were slightly below expectations. The US 500 declined 14 points to close on 2,158. The US Tech 100 dropped 39 points to close on 4,715 spot 90. And the Wall Street plunged 99 points to close on 18,310. The string of disappointing news seemed to hit traders from all angles yesterday, with a weak purchasing managers index pointing to the fastest, uh, fastest contraction in construction since the recession, a lackluster stimulus package out of Japan, and criticisms of the European Banking Authority's stress test mounting, all of which put results at HSBC, the largest UK listed bank, into much sharper relief this morning. Profits slid by nearly one-third at the giant lender, slightly worse than expectations, to heap more misery onto the embattled banking sector. The markets will also get to digest another vital post-referendum economic indicator later today as the services sector purchasing managers index is released. It is expected to plunge into contraction territory for only the second time in more than five years and seal the deal on a new package of economic stimulus from the Bank of England when, threedle, when the Threadneedle Street announces its latest interest rate decisions at midday tomorrow. The UK 100 declined yesterday, dropping 20 points to close on 6,658, and the Germany 30 declined 144 points to close on 10,158, spot one. With markets going into a slight decline, gold has picked up as investors look for stability, with the precious metal gaining $11 yesterday, while Brent crude continued its decline, closing at $41.97 a barrel, with US light crude closing below $40 for the first time since April 7th. In today's corporate news, HSBC reported pre-tax profits have fallen by 29% in the first half of 2016 and announced a special $2.5 billion share, buy share buyback. Profits fell 31% at FTSE 250 equipment leasing firm Agreco in the first six months of the year. Retailer Next reported sales were up 1.8% but profits will fall this year as it said it was yet to see a shift in spending as a result of the EU referendum and pre-tax profits are up by one quarter in the first half of the year at moneysupermarket.com. Today's economic data in focus at 9 o'clock the Eurozone Services and Composite PMI for July is released. At 9.30 the UK Services PMI for July is released. At 10 o'clock in the Eurozone retail sales for June are released. And at 2.45 US Services and Composite PMI for the US is released. That's all for this morning's market update. Thank you and goodbye.